excited to have him. He's been on tour. Uh, he comes all the way from Missouri. Uh, you guys are in for a treat. Put your hands together for the hilarious Derek Luna, everybody. Derek! Awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Are we having a fun time or what? Yeah. All right. We're in this mysterious building. <laughs> you've been for all the comedians you've seen so far, right? Fun. Okay. I might add a little music to the mix if that's all right. All right. Yeah. Before we get started, can I get uh, just a little bit more guitar in the monitor mix, please? That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's true. I am on tour from Missouri, guys. I did drive here uh, because I'm not allowed at the airports anymore. <laughs> they won't let me at the airports uh, because I, I think... Uh, Look, maybe it's just me, but I think the TSA is kind of sexually arousing. <laughs> Am I the only one? Come on, somebody. This guy's into it. I'm into it. It's like, yeah, right? Check me out, TSA. Check me out. See what you think. See what you think. By the time I get my belt and my shoes off, it's like, well, now I've probably got over three ounces of fluid on me. To be honest. <laughs> That's your fault, TSA. And you know what? I do want you to check one of my bags. Okay. Fun crowd right up here, guys. We've been having a fun time, but guys, it's time to get serious. All right? Jollies are over. I wouldn't feel right about it if I got in front of a beautiful audience like this. I didn't take a little bit of time to talk about some of these serious issues plaguing our country. Who's with me, right? Where are my social justice warriors at? Just me. Okay, you guys didn't bring your picket signs. Okay. Well, we're going to change the world, guys. We're going to do it right here, right now. This is an older song, but it's as true today as it was when I first wrote it, guys. It's called The Injustice Blues. This song's about prison reform. This will be fun, I promise. <laughs> Hell no! This guy won't go. It's a grassroots movement, guys. That's how it gets started. By the end of the show, we'll be out in the street with the picket signs. I hope y'all enjoy it. Let's change the world. A three years served in Leavenworth for crimes I didn't do. Only prison bars and solitude and my cellmate Bruce. The injustice is too much to bear as the unfair days they pass. Every day it tin and two, Bruce holds me down and rapes my okay, hold on a second. <laughs> this is an older song. I should have looked at these lyrics before I just came up here. I thought this was about prison reform. Give me one sec. Okay. Um, Cause you know what, some of these serious issues, guys, if we're not willing to talk about it, how's it gonna be fixed, right? So just in the name of talking about these issues, guys. All right, squared away. Verse 2. Justice is blind, they say. She must have gone deaf, too. She can't hear the cries of desperate men accused without the proof. These steel bars crush our spirit. Our hopes die behind these walls. At shower time, Bruce likes to use my mouth to wash his... Listen, guys. <laughs> This all happened a long, long time ago, you understand? And I don't really see what bringing up all of this uh, stuff from the past is going to do to really help us solve the uh, uh, prison. Um, I don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? Hell no. Okay, all right. All right, guys, we're going we're gonna to lay off the protests in here for a second, all right? I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of been a rough time up here so far. we got to do something, though, guys, right? It's a crazy world out there, right outside the, the doors of this friendly comedy confines. There's a lot of alliteration right there. It's going to hell in a handbasket out there, guys. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I got, I got one of these new cars. Whenever I put it in drive, the doors just lock automatically. <laughs> They're taking away our freedoms one at a time, guys. <laughs> Don't you think? Back in my day, you had the right to just throw yourself out of a moving car anytime you felt like it. 
It was called Liberty, and we loved it, guys. It's a crazy world out there. I just found out recently I'm, my neighbor's hooked on methamphetamines, y'all. It's sad. It's sad. It's bad news for me because I told him I'd give him $20 every time he mowed my lawn. <sighs> he mowed my lawn four times yesterday, guys. <laughs> It's still winter. I don't need that kind of I don't need that kind of lawn care, guys. It's a crazy world out there. So we got this is maybe a little bit uh, no offense, maybe a little bit older, a little bit more distinguished side of the room. And then we got our young I know, that was a terrible I should have started over here. We got the young young crowd over here, right? The distinguished crowd. Wow. Just cut this audience right in half, right? Way to go. Well, I don't mean to alarm anybody, but it's a crazy world. The young people are sending dick pics to each other. <laughs> They're doing it. How many did we send today, guys? Come on. Three or four? Have we slipped off to the bathroom yet? It's good lighting in there. Crazy. Well, look, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying... If you're going to do it, take a tip from me. I'm a little older, maybe a little wiser. Uh, instead of dick pics, what I do are cock portraits. Let me show you what I'm working with here. Some watercolor, mainly oil on canvas. We call this one the aristocrat. Imagine showing up on Valentine's Day with one of these. And an easel. So regal, right? That's majestic. Thank you, sir. I was searching for the right word. Now, I know what you're thinking. I am selling these after the show, if you want to grab one of those. That's pretty big. I don't know where you're going to hang one that big, but I do have a, I do have a smaller refrigerator magnet size. If you want to get... It might be time to invest in the art market, guys. It might be time to invest. It's a crazy world out there. Let me tell you what I'm doing with my money. Every morning for the last month or so, I've been eating uh, a dollar's worth of pennies. <laughs> 100 pennies, and uh, I'm only getting maybe like 83 cents back at the end of the day. <laughs> oh we talk about inflation, right? More like inflammation, if we're being honest. And I gotta stop doing this. I know I gotta stop because it's a bad investment. I'm losing, you know, I'm losing money on this. But let's be honest, it was never about the money. <laughs> this was never about the money. <laughs> this side not so into that joke that's fine I did recently have a doctor uh, recently a doctor told me that I might have a problem with alcohol and uh, I didn't even have an appointment with this guy I just farted in an elevator with him <laughs> said it smelled like sclerosis right now. Well, give yourselves a round of applause for coming out and seeing some live comedy. Right, go ahead, just step right across the way. That's good. <laughs> give yourselves a round of applause. Not that guy. He's gonna miss the rest of this. <laughs> I'm into it. It's obviously it's not easy to be a performer, right? It's not easy. Whenever I was a little kid, I didn't even want to be a performer. I wanted to be a doctor when I was a kid. I wanted to be one of those doctors that sits around and plays with boobies all day, right? <laughs> Anesthesiologist, I believe they're called. Okay, this, the older crowd is into it, guys. And I hate to tell you, they're right. Okay, they're right. That's a sexual assault joke. And even though it was dressed up like a doctor, we shouldn't be putting up with that. Good on you guys for spotting. There's my social justice warriors right there. Yeah, you guys are a great crowd. Normally, people don't want to watch me tell jokes, if I'm being honest. I'll put it... I'll put it to you this way. I got put on suicide watch last month. Even the nurses went out to smoke a cigarette during my set, just like that guy. That guy's one of the nurses. <laughs> He's giving up on me. Yeah, I've been depressed, guys. Let's talk about it. At a comedy show. The young folks are going to love this. Yeah, I've been bummed out, guys. I've been so depressed lately that I've been, uh, I've just been using the power wheelchair at the grocery store. If you, I mean, if you look sad enough, they'll let you do it, guys. No one's gonna, no one's gonna pull you over and check your credential. 
So there I was, guys, rolling around Home Depot, feeling sad, looking sad, too, you know? And I had to buy some rope, just for a completely unrelated purchase, right? But I still wanted to check on the Home Depot people, see if they would check on me emotionally. Guys, they did not. Not even close. I was checking out up front, and the lady was like, well, did you find everything you needed? And I was like, yeah. I think this rope might solve all my problems. <laughs> nothing, guys. An alarming amount of nothing. She's just like, well, I hope your day turns around, sir. Here's your rope. Sent me right out the door. Get in the saving lives business, Home Depot. All right, shoot. How are we trying to protest song? Are we? Is this grassroots movement getting getting going yet? When do we want it? Now. <laughs> this is the most. <laughs> you said now, but it felt like you could wait twenty or thirty minutes. You know, like, nah, nah, whenever. Whenever. Let me know. I, we can wait a week or two. I've been writing some of these short protest songs, guys. If you take out some of these lyrics. You can really see the poetry that I'm working with up here. It's kind of a haiku, Robert Frost thing. Good, nobody laughed at that. That's good. I'm being taken very seriously, and I like that. This is a short protest song called Hands. It's going out to this side of the room that's not so into me. <laughs> Poor folks' hands are cracked and rough from working every day. Rich folks' hands are smooth as silk, they got it made in the shade. Hands jerk off dicks, that's what hands are for. Somebody's jerking me off and it feels like they're poor. That's right. That song's about wage inequality, guys. We're always sending the poor to do the dirty work around here. Whether it's fighting in a war overseas or tugging some dude off underneath one of these fabulous bridges right here in Pittsburgh. All right. Hey, settle down over here, guys. I'll let them finish up, guys. It's their fault that you guys don't like me. That's why. <laughs> You're like, what do we do? All right, guys, I'm going to play one more. I'm going to get out of here. It is true. She should put some lotion on her hands. Or get an easier job. <laughs> okay, we're about to just totally fall apart. I'm going to play one ghost song with you. Um, I've been Derek Looney, and you guys have been just pretty fucking awesome, guys. Um, I'm going to play a love song. You guys, love is in the air. You ready for a love song? Hell yeah, this is the most romantic song ever written. It's on an uh, album me and my brother put together. Uh, nobody listens to CDs anymore, but the album was 100% uh, uh, love songs and romance ballads, and uh, we called it Sexual Predators. We didn't know what that meant, guys. And by the time, we wanted it to sound sexy, but also kind of dangerous. It's a bad idea, but this is uh, the most romantic song ever written. I hope you enjoy it. If you came here with somebody close... Go ahead and get closer. You're about to fall in love all over again, guys. Hope y'all enjoy this. I've been Derek Luna. You guys have been awesome. So much, so much great show still left to come. Girl, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Girl, if loving you is a sin, I'm going to pack my bags for hell tonight and if your pussy was filled with rat poison I'd say call poison control and tell them I'll be on my way no I don't give a shit I'm in love with you and if your mouth was a bear trap I'd say that's kind of odd. That's weird, right? But do you think you could hold that bear trap open long enough for me to stick a dick in without getting it chopped off? 
If your titties were made out of landmines, I'd free fly. Looks like I'm gonna be a double amputee before the morning light. No, I don't give a shit. Cause I'm in love with you. I tried to warn you guys how romantic that this song was. And you guys are looking at me like, what the fuck is going on right now? It's called love, dumbasses. Get used to it. I know I don't give a shit about your landmine tits. Or your bear trap mouth that nearly chopped off my dick. This is a true story, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Relationships are a lot of work, guys. I think we should see a doctor about your pussy filled with poison. That's clearly, that's a medical condition, guys. We can fix that. Just gotta go to the right doctor. O, B, G, Y. Oh, I don't know all the letters. I must be drunk, cause I still love you. Thank you guys so much.